you doing? We're here uh, just at Balls Bridge there, about to head to the game. Just go, what's your name, sorry, man? Pete. Pete, we're just asking Pete what he thinks uh, of a preview towards the Molde Moldova game. So, uh, Pete, uh, what do you think? Now, obviously, Odeuda has been put in uh, ahead of Wards, coming in, and uh, Murphy's starting up front. Uh, do you think we're going to get the three points? I think so, still. I think it'll be uh, one or two now at least. Uh, I think so. Hope yeah. for a good positive result tonight. I uh, so. And would you like to see some of the, some of the new blow get a run in the Absolutely, team absolutely. I think Moldova are terrible odds in the boogie, so I think we're, we're quads on day one tonight, so hopefully a good good game to get some of the younger boys on, hopefully. Okay, yep. what's yep. your final score? What's your final score? 2-0. Uh, go for 2-0, hopefully. 2-0, Ireland. There you have it, from Pete himself. Ari, thanks very much, Cheers, Pete. Cheers, Okay, We're here with some of the fans uh, just outside uh, the Ballsbridge Hotel, I think. But anyway, um, what do you think? Uh, Ireland versus Moldova. The first, oh, no been, the first 11's been announced. Uh, Odell, Odell is in for wards. <laughs> Murphy's starting up front. <laughs> How do you think we'll do? Uh, no bother. No problem at all. 3-1. 3-1 to Ireland. Yeah. Would you... We'd just like to see some of the new blood be introduced. Not the fucking caliber down anyway, he's fucking useless. <laughs> okay, well besides him, would you like to see Sean Maguire or Scott Hogan be introduced at yeah, some point during Hogan. the game? Yeah, definitely. That's it, yeah. that's it. That's it, come on. Yeah. yeah. After. This is the game to play them. Well, we'll, we'll be hoping for... Up, then, come on. Sorry? Once we get 3 nil up, they'll come on. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say, I'd say it'd be a case if we if we go 2 nil up and there's still a half an hour to play, he might bring one oh, of them on then. Oh, I'd like to see Maguire get put in then because obviously uh, if he comes on and plays a half an hour, does well, he might even get a goal. Then why not put him in and start him for uh, the Welsh game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon Robbie Keane still has a bit left in him. <laughs> if you come back, it's just, uh, just Robbie. We, Robbie, we know you like our, you like our stuff on Instagram. So if you're watching, you know what to do. Yeah. All right, guys. Final prediction: three one. Uh, three nil. Three nil. Okay, there you have it. Mail for Sam, 2018. One mil. <laughs> Cheers, boy. All right, we're just here with some of the fans. Uh, just about to go into the Aviva Stadium. So, what are your predictions for the game? Obviously, we have uh, Odeuda coming in for uh, Stephen Ward. We have Daryl Murphy coming in as well. How do you think the game's going to go? Fancy long to score first. 3-0. Long, long the score first. The prediction was 3-0 on the way down, but we didn't know who was going to be in the starting lineup. so... We know Long's there now, so we think we're going to go with fancy, that. Yeah. Hulahan's so starting, so there'll be a bit of creativity yeah, in yeah. the field. So. Yeah, I, uh, personally thought, I, I personally thought that uh, Wesley was going to be dropped. Uh, and be rested for the Welsh game, but it's good to see him either, in there either way. I can mean, you, we still have. Can you see any reason why you would drop Wales? He doesn't play away. We have. Yeah, yeah. saving for Wales well, is what I'm saying. McLean's out. Oh, well, he's he's man. McLean's McLean suspended, so yeah. needs need a bit of bite yeah, in the team. McLean you know, will so. be, yeah, be, yeah, be, be back for yeah. Wales and Hillands. I don't know, like. He is classy, but he say he has injury problems and all that. But anyway, he really, though. Come on, the Ireland! Would you like to see uh, some of the new blue get introduced? Like yeah, I'd love to see him. Give them a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. Boy, yeah. At what point, at what point would you want to see them come in? <laughs> yeah, I'd just love to see him start, because Long has <laughs> played and playing thought, to be honest with you. The pool was getting short. Honestly, yeah, too, there's too many household favours in the squad. Like, I mean, no one's, like, no one's really, really getting a chance. Like, yeah. Bad, friendly, but there's... Give the, give the, the, the young, young lads a chance. We need lads that we need lads that we have. We need lads that have bombs. Lads that, are, lads, yeah, lads that are jumping clubs and literally showing people who's bosses the minute they walk out onto new teams played in stadiums uh, and that. Duffy just scored a first goal. Duffy just scored a first goal in the corner. Uh, Hula Ham for a first goal scorer. Long three now. Yeah, I'm going, yeah long three now. Long three now. Well. Two nil. Duffy just scored a first goal. Nil all. Hula Ham three now. Okay. Thanks nice. very much, boys. Oh, yeah. Phil here for Irish Football Sign TV. I'm just joined by some fans after the game. So, uh, yeah, I suppose we had one one eye on Wales on Monday night. Uh, do you want to give us your thoughts? Yeah, I thought we'd done all right in the in the first half. To be honest, like pretty decent performance. Two goals. You can't go wrong with that. Second half, just fucking relaxing. Like couldn't be arse by uh, the looks of it. You know, shop. like you know, shut up shop. Happy enough to get a clean sheet. Like, we've done all right, but, you know, we're still not, probably, like, obviously, hopefully we'll get there. We're still not good enough to fucking be a World Cup team. Yeah. That's the whole thing about it. Yeah. You know? uh, and would you think we can kind of, do you think we'll go to Cardiff and do you think we'll come out with a bit more fire? I think I'm a bit disappointed now. The whole performance over 90 minutes, you know, I would like to see them put a bit more effort in the second half, a bit more fire in the bellies. You know, they sort of laid off. Then the match was won. They knew the match was won. They sort of sat back a bit. The, you know, It'll be a different game on. It'll be a different game on Monday now. You know yeah. they'll be they'll be riled up. They'll be they have to they have to go and put in a performance. It'll be different. They, that match, everyone knew they'd win that match before that was played. I think the players knew that, but you know you still have to motivate them for that. That was reflecting the performance. You know two 0 up first half game done. Half time, I'm sure they they were trying to 
motivate them at half time to get them out and perform again. It's hard to do that when you know the match is done, done and dusted. That game on Monday will be a different game altogether. Yeah, absolutely. And do you just have a just have a prediction for the Wales game? Like obviously, I hope we beat Wales on Monday night. Like, but they're still a decent outfit. Like they went over to Georgia, bet them one nil today. They looked handy. Like Georgia passed us off the pitch there a few months ago in Georgia. Like Wales, Wales look like yeah, Wales, Wales look like a decent team compared to Georgia. We just look like we just hoofed the ball all over the place. Yeah. So hopefully, we go and get them and do do them because. That's the kind of Irish spirit you need. Just go out there, absolutely fucking put them back to the wall, get stuck in. It's not going to be tech. The, the game on Monday is not going to be played technically. I think it's going to be played. It's going to be hard. It's going to be and a it's, battle. It's going to be hard and it's going to be a battle and it's going to be. That's, look, there's been results before where you know the, sh- the results shouldn't have been ground out or <laughs> things happen. No one expects things to happen. It might be a set piece. It might be a refereeing decision. The lads are going to go out there. They're going to put everything into it. It's going to be hard, and I think. Come on, Ireland! I think the head, says, the head says maybe if it's a score draw, that's logical. You're thinking yeah. maybe hopefully there'll be something else that yeah, comes into like, it. You'd like to go hard on the head. Yeah, but that's yeah. the, the Irish football team. It's, it's hard. The lads, that's, it's all about heart. That's, that's, so what that's what it's it, about. boys. Enjoy the point. Anyway, yeah, thanks a million. Yeah. Irish football fan TV. Phil here. I'm just joined with some more fans from uh, the game. So, uh, can you just get your thoughts on how it went? Um, I think it was good. Good game. Uh, good confidence for the Wales match on Monday. Yeah, yeah. one eye on the Wales game anyway. Uh, obviously, Daryl Mur- Murphy scored yeah. two goals. Uh, were, you happy, were you happy enough with the performance yourself? I think so, yeah. The passing around was really good and in the final third, they were really spot on. So I think Daryl Murphy, I'd be betting on him to bag one or two, one goal at least against no Wales. Worries. And uh, what were your thoughts for the game anyway? Uh, very good. You enjoyed it, did you? Mm. So uh, did, we just have a prediction for the, for the Wales game on Monday anyway. Uh, 1-0 Ireland 1-0 Ireland yeah, yeah cheeky 1-0 65th minute cheeky little Daryl Murphy there we go anyway we leave it there thank you alright we're just here with some of the fans after the game um, what did you think of the game overall um, it was a result in the end the first half was was decent enough uh, second half was absolutely woeful considering we want to go into Wales with good momentum and uh, it just seems like totally lost it Um it was good to see Maguire getting a run out, even though it was what, a couple of I thought minutes. Thought it was a bit late. Yeah, it was only a couple of minutes, and I would have rather Hogan come on the McGeady, uh, give the two new lads a chance, give them an like give them an opportunity. Top four four two with the two lads coming. Yeah, out. I mean, like they said midweek, and even last week they were going to give them a chance, and uh, now there was one new kind of there was a debut, I suppose, but still, I mean, it's just there was there was nothing really in the second half. It was boring football Moldova probably had about 60% if not more and Randolph like, actually made a great save as well yeah he yeah he did he made a few actually these say which I suppose it's good and it's bad in a way you kind of don't want him to make them saves but um, all in all it's it's a, it's a result that we needed but I mean it's not in the, the way that it's like scoring after two minutes yeah you'd expect it to go on to be something better you know so <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel that? How, how do you think about that? Um, yeah, no, the first half was good. Like they showed a, like, a good bit of attacking intent, and I was happy for Murphy. It was disappointing when he got taken off. Did he get to try to get the yeah, hat trick? Would have been good. Long, um, long probably deserved to come off. But he, uh, long, do you think deserved to come off? Well, to be fair, do you yeah. think he maybe was was looking to get uh, long on the score sheet? Yeah, get him his goal, his get a bit of confidence. Like, That's exactly what I was saying at the time. It was two yeah. pretty dreadful misses, like. Um, the layoff as well, like you have to be hitting the target from there. Yeah. Um, like the second half, they just they didn't. See, they seemed to be happy with what they had, and they didn't really try. Um, it was fairly disappointing to see, but pretty much what we're used to seeing. But the Neil we're, team with the lead. Yeah, I suppose. But at least we, we, we have uh, the likes of McLean and Brady coming back in now for the big yeah, game like, on, on Monday. And like you know, they have a bit of a rest now, so that is good. And McLean, you know, will definitely be chomping at the yeah. bit. Yeah, I just hope he doesn't play like he did against uh, Serbia. Keep giving the ball away. I mean, he's yeah. good head right. It's all well and good being forward up, but you need to be have the have, like the right sort of being forward up. It's like yeah. uh, keeping the ball, having your best game, and just stop stop get, like making rash tackles and shit because that's what it them out of the game. Tonight. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. And they need their wits about them for that game. Like so, I mean, for the qualification against France years ago, uh, like for Poland against yeah. France, like. They had the heads that night, you know what I mean? Like, and they were all pointing and stuff. So, like, I mean, they need to get that mindset again. 
they need to kind of follow through but that, well, that second that, that second half square. is not what you want going into such a big game against Wales so and actually <clears throat> Austria getting a result against Serbia is great it gives yeah. some sort of I don't know the marginless sort of hope of uh, going top going top of yeah. the group but yeah, but see. the same thing. We shouldn't be relying on other other people to get us top of the group. We should be trying to yeah. win, win our games. We're still relying. We've, beat, we've, beat, we've beaten better teams. We're yeah. still you know reliant I mean? on other teams to get us qualification. We've, beat better so team, like we've beaten better teams than Serbia and Wales and Austria. Yeah. I know we beat Austria, but you know what I mean. We have beaten better teams than them. So I don't see us going to Wales and having to fear. We've beaten Germany. We've beaten Bosnia. We're probably better teams than both of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I just, I just don't see us being able to raise our game as much against Wales as we are against a Germany. Do you know what I mean? Like. There is, I don't know, the focus is higher for games like that because you know the team is that much better. And I think like especially with Bale gone, you can see them lapsing a bit. Yeah. yeah. You know, Ireland, Ireland might have been you told you tonight, you though. Sorry? Ireland might have been told tonight to basically just wear win. ahead and just fucking relax. Don't, don't overdo yourselves yeah. for the... Yeah. For and the so what are your predictions for the Welsh game? How do you think that's going to roll out? <sighs> a hopeful one nail, if not nail all, I'd imagine. I'd say one all, but hopefully yeah, one nil. Okay, thanks, you know, very much, yeah. thanks very much, guys. Thanks very much. Let's go for it. I was just here with some of the fans here uh, in Searson yeah. after the game. Um, so, how did you feel the game went? Uh, what are your thoughts afterwards? Ireland two, Moldova nil. Bad news. Don't blame your I don't, I don't know what the objective of the game was. Obviously, it was going to be three points, but after we got the two goals. There was no game after that. I, I don't think there was a game after that. Um, two substitutions are brought on, Arthur and McGeady. I think they want to use them in a game against Wales. Wanted to see how they got on. I was actually sitting beside Kieran. Kieran was giving out that the fact that the two lads were coming on. I, I thought they were good subs because they are going to be used against Wales. That was my thought on it. But there were 60 minutes of that game that were used. Like they weren't. That, they weren't any use to Moldova or ourselves, really, yeah. I think. How would you feel yourself? I completely disagree. That's what we, we had a row throughout the game. I thought like the game was over and it was over before I started to be honest. And the only other positive you could take from the three points was that you get a few you bleed a few of the lads, you get you get Hogan on, you get yeah, Maguire on, and you get the lads in, give them a thirty minutes or so. It took it took five minutes to get two players, two experienced players on the pitch, and then eventually in the in the early eighties or mid eighties or whatever we got Sean Maguire on, and that was the best part of the game. The fans celebrated more when Maguire came on than either of the goals. Like agree with you on that, everybody yeah. wanted that. Everybody wanted Hogan. They wanted uh, Maguire. They wanted uh, Horahan. New, new blood, they yeah. wanted new blood. They wanted to see. Everyone knew the three points of our formality. Even if it's Ireland, we, we'll make a team look better than they are. But we're going to beat Moldova, because that's, that's what we are. And that's just how it is. But the only positive was 55 minutes, even 55, 50 minutes, bring the lads on. Like, rally the troops. There was 25 minutes in that second half that were wasted. It was left to right, I, I thought, left to right, I and it was dull. I thought that, um, you probably agree with me, uh, Maguire could have been brought on after the 60 minute mark. Yeah, I... That's what we were talking about, but I, I was saying the reason um, Odelda started was because I think Odelda is in the plans for the Wales game. And what they really wanted to do was give players who they thought they were actually going to play in the Wales game, game time. Like, um, Horgan, Hogan and uh, Maguire, I don't think they're going to feature in the Wales game. So Moldova was about fine-tuning their... Moldova, no, it's going it to be two no, points though. But where I'm with that is like... What are you going to learn from this really poor quality game? Like, you, like we're talking about Mag uh, McGeady coming on, the dancing feet to himself. And I, I like McGeady, but like, what's the point? And you've got uh, Harry Arthur coming on, who loves a two-footer. Like, what is the point in these lads coming on for 15 minutes when you can actually, like, they're not going to, what are they going to learn in 15 minutes? against Moldova parking the bus against like what, what are these new lads going to gain from it there's no big plan here where these lads are going to gain massive experience that they're going to use against Wales when you can just bleed the lads is like, going to play against Wales? no he's probably not but as a sub is, is Harry Arthur so. going to benefit from 10 minutes against these Moldovan lads is, uh, is Morphy going to play against Wales 
He probably was. Well, well, um, no, definitely not. What I was going to ask you as well was, um, do you think that the uh, O'Neill contract was obviously a bit premature? Premature. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was very strange. Like I thought it was. I thought it was a strange timing because there was there was people talking about uh, when would it happen. There was people talking about oh, it, everybody's kind of open to it, and then really quickly it was like oh, it's done. And for me personally, I was I, I was like I always thought that Keen was like getting involved in this because he was like let's learn and learn and learn because he had a poor track record before he went into Ireland and I thought he was going to learn from that and from Martin O'Neill and he was going to go back in but I, I thought it was a bit premature I thought it is a bit unusual for someone to commit to that before securing qualification but I do like the lads and I do I do trust the lads and I think we're going the right direction but I still think it was kind of a strange time to do it like. yeah what about yourself um, I think anybody at that Chapel Town is going to be offered any length of contract that they want. Do you know, because the style of football that they that they oppose to get, I think when they when they're not under as much pressure, they play a great game of football and the tactics are spot on. But when it comes to you know results that need to happen and results that need to count, like Austria and uh, and Georgia, like they, those were those were. Do you not think? That, do you not think that not? Qualifying out of this group, say we don't win against Wales, is a failure. So why should he be? Why should he be rewarded? Well, I, I think. That's like, what I, that's I, had you, I think. Well, had you, had you, had you, had you asked me at the start when, when all this group was drawn out, and you said, "Well, who's got it?" That's your group you're in. I'm like, Austria topped the group, and then Serbia and Wales fight for second. That's how I would have seen it, and I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have, not that I wouldn't have seen us as contenders because we obviously would, but I just thought that. Those, those, like those two teams would have been the outright favourites. Okay. And I'll say under. I don't agree too much on that, but that's well, only my well, opinion. No, we know. No. What, what's your opinion then? Well, I, 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 I think that we should have been aiming for top of the group. I don't think Wales are that much better. After, oh, after were, the, after oh, the first two or three games. But I still don't think. But that's before that, before that, like, when that, when that group was drawn, do you think that that's where we would have been? Do you think our Obviously, your aspirations are to finish top. Of the but group. the way I'm looking at it is, all our fans seem to go poor little Ireland, and we're not poor little Ireland. We do have good players in that squad, and yeah, I, I think yeah. that we should be going and aiming to win. We've beaten better teams than the teams that are in the group. We've beaten Germany. We've beaten Bosnia. We've gone out and beaten these teams. We beat. We beat Germany when nothing, nothing of that result counted. Germany and and look, well, it, 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 beat it, them. Was a, it was a huge result. We still beat them. For us. Well, like, when, when we when we lost to Scotland in the last qualification round. That was it. That was it. We were over. And do you know why we were over? Because we never seen ourselves. It seems to be the flip side now that Wales are like that now against us. Is, you know. Like, but at the same time, we've been missing our best, our best player the whole like since the Wales game. We've been missing our best player. If you were to ask any of the other teams, how oh, many win. games? Like two games. Since so it was Wales. about four. four not four. four. Yeah. 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 So if you asked Wales to go in there against uh, without Bale for four games, how would they? You know, they would struggle. Not, if you right? if you asked Serbia to do it too, so like, no, Wales, 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 Wales have played twenty something games with Garbell. They've got this great record. They played four games without them. They have won any of them. They have won any of them. Four so games without uh, Garbell. They have won any of them. When we were watching the game, I said to you, I was like, they won today. Our, our threat, like our threat against Wales, I think our threat was outside of the 18 yard. I think the shots outside the box were our threat. That's. Gareth Bale is gone, that's our track gone. So I think we secure defence. We have a couple of good players, but we have the players yeah, to match. Yeah, we have the players, yeah. uh, probably better players in England. I, I don't think. I don't think Wales are. are I don't think that we should be we going there fearing them. Yeah, no way. Whatsoever. No way. Whatsoever. Whatsoever. We're going there. We're going there with Scotland. We're going there with Scotland in the back of our mind. Georgia beat Serbia, we got we top. Beat Wales, <laughs> <laughs> no playoff. All right, guys. Thanks very much yeah. for your time. Good uh, guys, let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much for watching Irish football. We're just here with some of the fans after the game. We're trying to get their reaction from uh, Ireland to Moldova nil at the Aviva Stadium. I'll start off with yourself. How did you think the game went? Uh, were you surprised about some of the selections in the squad? Um, I think the whole thing started pretty well, but um, I reckon it. It tailed off towards, you know, the second half. Uh, the whole thing was started very positively, but we kind of really took our foot off the gas a lot, a lot. So it, we got very complacent. Uh, I thought Wes had some really nice touches, played some really good balls here and there. The only kind of creative kind of spark that we ever have. Um, but it was nice, good start after that. Tailed off very much and. 
we should have pushed on, but we didn't push on, which is quite infuriating. How would you feel about yourself? Yeah, no, absolutely agree. But like, I think we had a great start. But like, like let's be honest, if, if we're going to call a spade a spade, haven't got a world class team out there. You know, I think the subs should have been made before, even at half time. I thought after the minutes like, myself. Yeah, like. Give, 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 give the subs a chance to, 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 to make an impact on the game like it was far too late Martin O'Neill and I respect Martin O'Neill and all the backroom staff like you know Roy we'll, Keane, we'll, come back, we'll, we'll come back to them later on <laughs> oh listen you, you could talk all day about them but like if fair is to be fair just, just give, give the subs a chance to make an impact on the game Yeah. like you know Shane Long or, or Ray Shane Long great player obviously you know he's, he's done us very proud in the past he did miss but, a sitter though you know, yeah, he had his chance. He's just going to roll back. Do you know what I mean? mean? Underestimating the fact, like, consider the magnitude of the game. Darren Murphy did so well getting a brace for his country. Yeah, but listen, like, you know. Consider how the magnitude of the match. Uh, kind of, Mystic Paul straight the game when he said to he, start he, with him. He could have <laughs> <Just sorry. laughs> went, went under the shadow of Robbie Keane or Shane Long. He stood up and actually did very well. Yeah, like, look, it's easy. And he's in form right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's yeah, deservedly yeah, earned his chance. place. You might have a chance, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it's easy saying this now after the match. But like you know, yeah. give him a chance. Take take a risk. But he did not take a risk. That much. If you look at the game, if you look at the game in two halves, the first half was two nil. Second half, Moldova for twenty minutes were the better team. Well, let's not forget that Darren ran out made a couple of good saves he, too. In the first half, he made a world class from the Surprise long range shot from <laughs> the bouncer from Co the bouncer from Coppers. <laughs> <laughs> Middlesbrough had a shot, but um, yeah, he made a great it's choice moving. No, a great choice move, like moving from that West only Ham. tipped over the bar though. That was yeah. work like. from West Ham going down to the championship, get more game time. Great decision because you're not going to well, play. That's an like, assumption we can't make yet. No, it's a good decision because well, I, I would say I, I would say maybe in the next qualifying round it might be time to see if, how Robbie Elliott can handle it. But at the, at the same time. Randolph hasn't let us down, and he, no. he might have let West Ham down at club level, he's no, but he's never really let us down, no. except for one little punch That's against Europe. Okay, so um, in terms of Martin O'Neill getting a new contract, how do you feel about that? No, listen, I think he should now, to be fair. Roy Keane, Martin O'Neill, best man you can put in the job. Like, to be fair, like, you know, I think of a lot of Irish fans, they expect a lot. And these, these are the best men for the job. Like, like what more could you ask for? Oh, like, Trapping ponies. No. Like, they're miles away from Chuck Town. I think Martin O'Neill is, like, a lot of Irish fans, they like the Celtic idea of winning the league. Like, yeah, they did. They like, Martin, they, they like Martin O'Neill. They probably have better players than Celtic. They, they like, they like, we do have better players than Celtic. No, no we don't they, go with <laughs> Celtic have better players when they got to the UEFA Cup. Ah, back then, now, yeah. Now they're in the Mickey Mouse League, just running away with it. It's but, to be fair, though, Martin O'Neill and Roy Keane are people that Ireland like. They, they just are like Roy Keane he's a bit of a character but you do like him but Chris Hewton will be the Irish manager maybe in 8 years time after the lads have gone that's my 8 years that's my prediction the lads will fly along like irrespective like but he signs the contract now or later on you're going to get a 50-50 situation anyway you know it's one of them situations like you're going to get people going to say no bad timing yes good timing but like his results are going to just dictate what are people like it or not? Yeah, but hang on, you have to you have to have the team there. Like fucking forget exactly. about like Roy Kane and Martin O'Neill. Yeah, Roy Kane and Martin O'Neill are the best men for the job. You have to have fucking the players to play this. Who would you put in instead of them? I never said if Ireland don't qualify. But, that's great. So spanner into the works here, okay, but do you not think it's a bit premature? Uh, the fact that we haven't uh, got over the line yes. yet in terms yes. of qualifying. Yes. It's a bit no. premature. Look, look yes it's a bit of a weird time to, 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 to do it. Is negligent. It should not no. be happening. No, no, hold on. Right. If Ireland do qualify, it's yeah, like the, the, the if, We have a couple of numpties here. If, yeah. hold, no, if, wait, hold on, hold on. Just be quiet for a minute. If Ireland qualify, <laughs> uh, it's a great timing for giving that decision. If they don't qualify, he would have got a new contract, the two of them. Even if they failed give afterwards, it, give them a new contract anyway. They would have got a new contract Who anyway. Are you gonna put Timing, in? I think, is yeah, always thinking behind this a little irrelevant. I'll get on to my good mate JD and ask him. How do you feel yourself? I think I I touched on eight years with Chris. I think four years. Let us, let them let them see out their their idea of where they they find themselves after this current campaign. Bring in Chris. We're guaranteed to have 
better, not better players, but younger players come in. Oh, doubt it. Oh, doubt it came on. Oh, doubt it started. But I think he started in the wrong game. I think he's a much better player than his his performance kind of gave him today. I think Chris bring him in after the four years. That's the, that's the right job for me you now. Spanner in the works though. Sean Deutsch, Burnley. Get, get, get him to sign a few more lawyers, lads. That goal they scored against Everton. Only a haircut next Million week. passes. <laughs> Stick them in. That Westwood as well. Fucking. You know what I mean? No, but, like, like, it seems to me that uh, Martin O'Neill seems to be talking about Roy Keane to be the next man for the job. Surely Hewton, managerially, is better, is better qualified 100%. than no, Roy Keane. It's, it's very difficult. How do you feel yourself? Uh, no, 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 wouldn't agree with that. No, Roy Keane not. record no. with Sunderland. Roy, 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 yeah, don't mind Roy Keane. Yeah, listen, no, you, you've had, yeah, listen, yeah, listen, get back in your box, will you? Roy Keane, right? I do not like Roy Keane. However, as a, as a professional man, no, the fucking Liverpool found me how. <laughs> Roy Keane is very talented, man. He's a professional. He knows what he's fucking he needs to do, right? He's the best he man for he's the winner. He's winner. a winner, absolutely. Yeah. It's like Michael O'Leary with fucking Roy Nair. They're going down at the moment. Yeah, that's but the county right compared that right now, he's actually writing letters to fucking pilots going, hard luck. Roy Keane. Football, John. It's actually football. really difficult because Roy Keane. Yeah, fuck Michael O'Leary. <laughs> Like, right Kane right now is one of them people that uh, motivates you so much. It's hard to like, dictate who would be a better motivator than Roy Kane to represent our country. Ireland fans fucking think that, that listen, we've not yeah, got a war there. We've not, the team, not yeah, the yeah, it's not I'm, I'm very patriotic, right? I, I wish Lads, would anybody like to see a charity boxing match between these two? I, I would yeah. love that. I know Harry Kane would be great, wouldn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's not, I'm very patriotic, but listen, we, ha we have to, we have to, listen, you have to manage what you fucking have in front yeah. of you. You have to manage what you have in front of you. It's very easy sitting there in the stands. That's why Roy Keane is one of the management team. Oh, yeah, but lads, like, everyone goes, oh, I, had, I had this argument with people earlier, it's a like, poor old little Ireland. We don't have bad players in our squad. And it's, it's, it's people coming out and saying that we do. We look, look at Iceland. There's, Iceland. A there's a lot of our players that are there. Look at Northern Ireland. Yeah. yeah. Not, yeah. Any, not a lot of their players are playing the Premier League. Iceland's a couple of hundred in, in, in population. 100,000 right? population. Like. We have a particular nation who have good footballers, not great footballers, but Belgium, good footballers. Belgium, Iceland. But look, look, we have this particular... Or about you only have Ireland. to pick we'll 11 to 20 of the best players at one sport. Enough, yeah, but at the same, at the same, at the same time, he doesn't pick the most informed players, and so you shouldn't yeah, really be that doing that because, because right. like, look at strikers. Uh, strikers feed off confidence, and our best striker is not confident right now. He showed no. it tonight. He's not he striker. should be playing. He's not he's not right right he should be Who's playing. Maguire. He's making differences. He's not scoring goals. Even if he's not scoring goals, he's still getting man in the match performance. Do you not agree? Maguire? Sean Maguire, yeah. Sean Maguire. Right, right. On his debut. He's, no, what I'm saying to you is he's, he's playing for Preston. But he, even if in the games he's not scoring goals, he's still making differences, getting man in the match performances. None of the rest of our players are. Yeah, a conversation I had with Kieran, my brother, earlier. He, 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 he said this about uh, Shane Long as well. Shane Long has scored one goal in his last 42 games. Like, like, on it, like honestly, like... Right, Shane Long, one goal, club, club and country, one goal in 42 games. No, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying you're dissing but, but a question was asked. To me. No, I'd have to agree with you. A, a question was asked to me. If McGuire is putting in the performances, may not get the goals. Is he good enough? Like Lukaku, right? Lukaku, right? And and no, and I'll just. Lukaku is not Irish. No, I know, but I want to just use him. I want to use him as an example. No, because. If you look at, um, I was reading something a while back, right? If you look at Lukaku's stats and his goals, Lukaku doesn't play for Ireland, might I ask? No, I know, but you, but you, you asked me, you asked me a question about players' influences on games, right? Lukaku signed for United, right? So his goals didn't contribute to the points that Everton received last year because his goals were scored when they were already in winning positions. And you were asking of, of a player's um, influence in the game. If you don't score a goal, like Shane Long, like yeah, but my, not, point, my point being with Maguire was he was still assisting goals. Right, well that's a different yeah, situation. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's a, that's right, a different. Still, that's still, a, no, no, no. He's scoring or assisting and getting man of the match performances, man, I mean, I mean, which is got, no, 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 no. which is got, which is gonna bring confidence to yourself. Well, if you're getting man of the match performances, who is the you're top goal scorer? Irish, Irish, top Irish, top Irish goal scorer in the last three years in the leagues, in the UK leagues. 
Aberdeen striker Rooney. Just guess not a look in. It doesn't matter. You say right. It doesn't absolutely matter, right? You're saying right. He is playing. He is playing for Aberdeen better than Rangers at the moment. So they're basically the second best team in Scotland. Are we? Basically right. the second best get right. team in Scotland. Let's Aberdeen. Move on, move on, Mal- he's against played against Moldo- Moldova. Moldova. So you're saying... All right, lads, well, uh, the I think we're, goals. I think we're wrapping up there. We, we, we let the fans decide. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thanks very much for coming on, lads. Come on, you boys in green. Run the